Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get this green and red glam Christmas makeup look. I did a previous natural makeup look but I've seen this one everywhere so I really wanted to do a more festive one. So if you want to see how I get this look please carry on watching. So starting with my eyebrows I'm just going to brush them out and for some reason I did them off camera but here they are. As mentioned, all the products used in this tutorial will be drugstore, so I'm taking my NYX eyeshadow base and placing that all over my eyelid and again up to my brow bone. The palette I'll be using today is the Revolution Makeup London Eyeshadow Palette, which has 144 colours in it. I'm taking this green and placing that all over my lid. It does look a little bright at the moment, but trust me, um, I use a lot of dark colours, so it kind of um, dulls it out a little bit. Then I'm taking this darker green, um, which is also a little bit sparkly, and placing that on the outer half of my lid. And I'm just blending that into the um, lighter green. I'm blending it really, really well because I want it to transition well, but I'm also going to take that up into my crease as well and use it as my crease colour. Then I'm taking this darker black um, and I'm popping that onto the outer edge of my eye. I'm just dabbing it on right now to make sure that the placement is right and then I'm going to blend that again into the other colours. As usual, I'm making sure that that top line is blended with my brow colour, so um, I'm just blending that in. Then I'm taking this very dark and sparkly black because I wanted that outer corner to be really, really dark. So I'm going to add that onto the very, very outer edge. I don't know if you guys realise but I actually use the same brush for everything and that's because I don't have loads of brushes so I just kind of clean them as I go along. But anyway I'm blending all of that in and then adding a very very light colour to my brow bone just to highlight that. And then I took the sparkly light silver colour into the inner corners of my eye. I apologise for not filming it, I thought I did but I didn't. And then I'm just going to blend that into the green. Then taking my Lash Sensational Mascara, I'm going to add one coat of mascara to my top lashes. And then taking the sparkly black that we used earlier for the eyeshadow, I'm pushing that up into my upper lash line and also down into that lash line just because I'm wearing false eyelashes with this look. So I want them to blend seamlessly with my real ones and you can kind of tell when I am wearing the eyeshadow and when I'm not wearing the eyeshadow. Anyway, then I am just going to clean up that outer line from my eyeshadow with a cotton pad just to make it really sharp. Next I'm taking my Supercut Eyeliner from Soap and & Glory and I'm just popping that on top of the eyelash line just because again I want it to be blended really really seamlessly but I'm not adding a flick to this look because I think it's dramatic enough as it is. Then I'm taking my Revolution London Makeup Concealer Palette and I'm going to go ahead and conceal my spots. Um, if you guys have been watching my previous videos, you would notice that my spots have gone down so much. They were really bad before I had a really bad breakout and it's because of the products I've been using. Um, so I'm thinking about doing a, like a skincare tutorial, so let me know if you want to kind of see that. But anyway, I'm taking my um, MAC NC37 foundation. I know it's not drugstore, but I didn't have any other... The, um, foundation so I really do apologize but this look definitely needs foundation and I had to use some and this is the only one I have so I do apologize for that anyway I'm just blending it with a damp beauty blender um, all over my skin and also down my neck when I first put it on it really doesn't look like it's my color but I promise you it is I actually have a yellow undertone rather than a red undertone like the camera is showing um, so I promise you it is my color but anyway I'm just going back to the revolution concealer palette and concealing my under eyes and I'm also going to go ahead and conceal my nose my forehead my um, cupid's bow and also my chin well rather highlight rather than conceal but anyway and then I'm also going to go right underneath where I contour because I really really want my contour to stand out and again I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend that all in then I'm going to set all of that with my MUA translucent powder I realized that I do use a lot of the same products but it's because I really don't have that much makeup so I really want to show you guys how you can use the products you already own in multiple ways and not have to go out and buy loads of new products but anyway then I'm going to take that light green color that we use on the eyes just on my lower lash line to make it really pop and then taking my Master Sculpt Contour Kit, I'm going to use obviously the, the brown colour to contour. Side note, I washed that brush that comes with the kit and loads of the hairs came out, so I was really upset about that. But um, just so you know, if you do have that um, kind of kit, 
don't wash it as vigorously as I did maybe. Anyway, then I'm just going to contour my usual um, parts of my face and I'm going to blend my nose contour in with my fingers because that's what I usually do anyway. And then I'm taking my NUA Iridescent Highlighter um, and I'm just going to highlight my usual parts of my face. I came really close to the camera because I really wanted you to see that kind of gold shimmer that it has. I don't know if it caught it, but um, anyway. Highlight, highlight, highlight. And then I was kind of looking at what red I wanted to go for. And in the end I decided to go for these two colours from Revolution Makeup London. I realise I'm using a lot of their products, but I promise this isn't sponsored by them either. But first I'm going to use a red lip liner from LA Colours in Forever Red. And I'm going to start with my Cupid's bow, do my top lip first and then line my bottom lip and I actually decided that it looked really good like that so I decided to leave it like that so that is the finished look guys just kidding of course I would never go out like that but anyway I'm gonna add that red color from Revolution London and then I'm gonna pop the purple on top of it and that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it's um, really festive. Side note, look how long my hair is when um, I straighten it. It's like literally down to my chest. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I hope you have a lovely, lovely Christmas and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> We can take a little detour. Have you ever ate McDonald's on a G4? Now you're